Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We're gonna look at the Tipman X7 expansion chamber. Now this expansion chamber is specifically for the original X7, not for the X7 Phenom Mechanical or the X7 Phenom Electric. It will not work on either of those two guns. It is for the original X7 um, that did not have the gas through grip or anything like that. So um, if you're interested in purchasing an expansion chamber, and you have a Phenom or anything like that, it's not gonna work. This is just for the original X7. So don't buy it for the wrong gun. So we'll go ahead and open it up and take a look at what you're gonna get, assuming that you have an original X7. So you're gonna get your manual. You're gonna get the expansion chamber here. You're gonna get a little bit of oil. You're going to get your line and your, um, your air transfer screw, basically. So I'm gonna try to show you or, or explain to you how the install will work. Um, seeing as though they don't make that version of the gun anymore, and I don't have a version of that gun anymore, it's a little difficult to show you on a gun, but we'll do the best that we can to try to explain it to you. Obviously the oil is going to be self-explanatory. So the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the original hosing out of the gun. So um, the nice thing about the X7 uh, original was that the fittings did not require any Teflon. They are compression fittings. So basically, you just have to unscrew them and they will come out. You don't have to worry about Loctite or Teflon or anything like that. So you're going to remove the old line system off of the gun. Um, by doing that, you need to remove the frame off the gun and you need to remove the, um, the magazine well from the old one as well in order to get the, the upper section out of the gun. So once we have all that off, we are going to take um, our new expansion chamber, which is right here. So you're gonna have gas coming in. So you can think of your line sitting off like this. This is gonna thread in here. And then this is gonna run down to your ASA where your tank would screw in. So your, it's actually gonna go more like this. Um, so your, your air is gonna come in here, come into the expansion chamber, and it's gonna be able to turn into a gas. The only reason you would ever want to use this is if you were running CO2 on your gun. If you're running a compressed air or compressed nitrogen system, this will do nothing for you, okay? It doesn't help your gun in any way. All this does is give liquid CO2 that's potentially coming out of your tank more time to expand into a gas before it gets into the gun. And that's gonna help with consistency, accuracy, um, a lot of things just make the gun work better overall. So if you're using CO2, liquid CO2 potentially comes in and you've got three chambers here that are each divided so that um, the liquid or gas, whatever is coming in, has to make it through each chamber before it can then come out and go up into your gun. Basically, it's just giving time for a liquid to turn into gas. So it's gonna come into here, go through all the chambers, and then it's gonna come out this top section right here. Now this piece right here is the key to it all as far as getting it to hook up to everything. So your gas is gonna come out and come up this way this basically directs the gas from the expansion chamber up into the tombstone of the X7, um, which is then gonna get up into the valve. So as you can see, you've got three O-rings on here. This section right here has holes in it, and that's gonna sit inside here just like that. So the gas escapes out here, goes in through all the little holes, and then it's gonna come out through the middle. You can see it's hollow in the middle here. It's gonna come up through the top and into the gun. So that part's gonna go up in there like that. You're gonna wanna use a little bit of the oil that they give you, put it on the O-ring so that it can slide in and seal up nice and easy. You're gonna put it up, and then with an Allen key, a 3 16th, I believe, then you would tighten this up into the tombstone and that's gonna lock everything in place. So this is the expansion chamber for the original X7. Again, I reiterate, if you have a Phenom version, don't waste your money because it won't work. Only for the original X7s, and only if you're running CO2 on those guns. If you're running compressed air, it's not gonna do anything for you as well. So if you want an expansion chamber and you are running CO2, check this one out. It has a good clean look to it. It's not overly bulky and it comes with all the parts you're gonna need to do the install. It's available through the website, so go ahead and check it out and order yours now through ansgear.com.